Johnson & Johnson has been working on an HIV vaccine using the same delivery technology as its COVID-19 vaccine. And sad news this morning, the HIV vaccine in a trial in Africa was shown uh, not to work. This coming out both from Johnson & Johnson and the NIH, which uh, was behind the trial and the, the vaccine as well. Uh, they showed that it was about 25% effective in preventing HIV infection in the study in Africa. They didn't see any safety issues, um, and they are going to continue testing this in a different trial in different folks in different geographic areas, so they do still have some hope this might work. Um, but this is just another disappointment in a long line of disappointments for trying to develop vaccines for HIV, which has just been incredibly difficult. This vaccine uh, used that same viral vector as it uses for COVID, but the antigen it delivered to try to recognize the, the enemy, essentially, in the HIV was much more complex because this virus has just been so difficult for vaccines to try to tackle. A lot of folks sort of noting this morning, guys, how lucky we got with COVID that we could figure out vaccines for it um, because it was a virus that was easier to tackle with vaccines. Guys? That makes me... As we always do, we think about the, what's really going on there, but behind it, Meg, it, it, it makes me think that maybe the, that the uh, HIV is very, uh, can very quickly mutate around uh, whatever the antigen used was um, and that it's not, therefore, conserved, that, that, that what they use for the antigen is not as important as the spike protein was, which is conserved with most of these SARS uh, viruses. So. You think that, that, that probably the virus just gets right around the vaccine, I would think. I would guess so. I don't know exactly what the issue was, but that's been the problem with HIV in general. It's just such a wily virus that so many mutations, so many different forms that you have to try to get with a vaccine. Yeah. They use this sort of mosaic of immunogens to try to go after it, whereas with the coronavirus spike, I mean, they figured out a way to stabilize it in this state that they could go after it with the vaccine. Uh, it's much, much different virus, and um, we're lucky that for this pandemic, we were able to develop these vaccines. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.